Right now, charcoal is a very versatile and effective medium, drawing medium that you can use to create very sort of visually uh, effective images that stand out. Now, what I want to focus on today is how to use charcoal on either a canvas panel or a, a primed canvas here, which is uh, stretched onto a frame. So what I'm going to do is just break this up into a number of tips and just demonstrate on how you actually do it. think about are your materials. Now what I'm going to be using today are basically things like charcoal pencils, compressed charcoal, uh, what we have here is uh, a willow stick which is quite a thick piece of charcoal. So I'm just going to demonstrate how to actually use these. The first thing I'm going to do is start here with the uh, canvas panel which is this one here. I'm going to experiment a little bit this one, just with mark making, just to see the different types of effects that we can get onto a board with a piece of charcoal. And one of the things I want to do here is just get that contrast between light and dark. And things you will notice is that the, the grain of the canvas board really does show through. So try and get the dark and light contrast into the drawing. So I'm going to work in a fairly free and abstract way to create designs. So I need to watch how I actually use this now. So just working in a sort of fluid, radial way. Take the pressure off the charcoal, you can obviously blend it if you want to as well. So you can see the different types of designs we can create with the charcoal. And you're always free just to blow the excess away. You don't want to use it. Always a good idea to have some tissue to hand when you're doing this, like this, just to help you if your hands get too dirty. One of the things I want to focus on also is using a template here. So now using the charcoal pencil, you can get quite a lot of contrast between light and dark, hard edge shapes. As you're working. This is using a medium gray charcoal pencil. It's not the darkest variety, but it does give you quite a different approach to working. And what I'm going to do here is blend with my finger again, over the edge. And it's a really good way to graduate the shadows out. I want to take it away, you see how effective it actually is. Now, if you want to add darker variety of charcoal, just to get a bit more contrast into that shadow, you can work into it as you're working. Now obviously as you can see I'm working on an, an easel and you can work flat also. Blend it. Take that away. That gives you very, very different types of effects, as you can see. You can obviously, if you want to, add a darker shadow. So, what I'm going to do is just work my way around that image. What I've done is prepared some templates cut out with copy paper just to see if I can create an interesting design. It's going to go here see on the canvas so I'm just going to draw around that edge you can mask it on in fact it might be an idea to mask it on if we get some masking tape in a moment and then just work around it being careful here not to smudge what you're doing 
you do make a mistake, just work that in to your work. Okay, because charcoal, you will tend to... It's quite a messy medium, basically. And you've got a type of control you can have with it, various, as you're working. There's a lot more control with this type of technique, the template, as you can see. I think it's always a good idea with this type of work to repeat the shapes because it gives you a little bit more in terms of can do it quite quick, just fill in those areas. Press it down and use your finger. Just blend in. Graduate the shadows out. Now, there is always the option here to work back into these designs as you progress through them. As you can see here, I'll just take that away for you. Now, if you want to get a different type of uh, quality of mark in there, when you finish doing that, you can work freehand again. So that again will give you a very different type of approach. Just again, just working in. It's a lot more fluid and it's a lot, it really is quicker. You can vary the pressure that you place on the charcoal stick. And again, I'm going to blend that just to soften it. I'm working in a very sort of intuitive way here, just seeing how the design progresses as we. Through. And I'm going to obviously overlay images on this side now, just to see what type of effect that will create, maybe working in a diagonal way here. So here. right into the corner of the canvas panel. So we're using the whole space. Again, keeping it there and blending. Because what the template basically gives you, the cutout area, is that very sharp defined edge, which is quite effective with these sort of abstract designs. You can do this with colored chalk as well as charcoal. And again, that gives you quite an interesting design. Now, obviously, you can just look at what you've produced and you can work back into it where you feel you need to. Okay, now just adding some different types of marks, freer marks, uh, different areas. So this again is a canvas panel, quite a rigid surface to work on and obviously quite different from the canvas, stretch canvas here which has a little bit of give into it. 
it's prime surface and you do find here that the texture of the canvas has quite an interesting uh, effect especially on the canvas board here and that will tend to show up with the charcoal when you're drawing and when you're working so that is obviously a abstract design working on canvas board with charcoal pencils and compressed charcoal to see what you can do with that.